Welcome. In this tutorial, we'll use the directory iterator in FileFlows. The directory iterator allows us to process files in a directory within a flow. We will be unpacking a zip file and processing all images extracted from that zip file. To get started, let's create a new flow using the file template. Now, we'll add an unpack flow element. Set a destination to extract the files. In this tutorial, we'll extract the files to a subdirectory in the flow runner's temporary directory. To do this, use the variable temp, followed by the subdirectory extracted. Leave the file field blank as we're unpacking the input file. Click Save and connect the flow element. Now we need to create a subflow that our directory iterator will use to process the extracted files. Click the plus button to bring up the flow wizard and select blank subflow. In this tutorial, we'll convert our images to WebP. Add an image convert flow element and select WebP as the format. Set the quality as desired. Save the flow element and connect it to the subflow input element. Next, add a replace original flow element and connect it to the output of the image convert flow element. Name your subflow and save it. Now that we have our subflow, we can return to our original flow and add a directory iterator. By using the directory iterator flow element, we can process the files extracted from the zip file. Select the subflow we just created. Enter the directory where we extracted our files. Next, set the pattern. The pattern allows us to filter the files we want to process with our subflow. Since we created an image-based subflow, enter images to only process image files. Turn on recursive so all images in any extracted subdirectories are also processed. Now, save the directory iterator and connect it to the unpack flow element. Now we have our images converted and in our temporary directory. Let's repackage them into a new zip file. Add a zip flow element. For the path, enter the directory where we extracted our files. For the destination folder, Use our temporary directory. Enter a new name for the zip file. Turn on set working file, so this zip file becomes our working file for the rest of the flow. Click save and connect it to the directory iterator. Now let's replace our original zip file with our modified one. Add a replace original flow element and connect it. Name and save your flow. To summarize, we now have a flow that unpacks a zip file and converts all images to WebP. It then creates a new zip file and replaces the original zip file with our new one. Thanks for watching.